You know, I've already been asked a couple times if I regret buying this thing. Maybe. Maybe. So documenting the progression on this rusty Evo, there are three main things I'm running into right now. Number one, the crank position sensor has a broken bolt. There's two bolts that hold the crank position sensor in place and one of those bolts broke off. And even before that, that crank position sensor, a plastic piece of it was broken. And that crank position sensor was all gummed up to the one that was on here. So I'm thinking that's part of the reason it ran like crap. I'm kind of hoping that was actually the issue. Uh, I checked the, the timing. It is in time, so that should be good as far as I don't think it skipped timing. It shouldn't have bent any valves, so that's good. But I need to fix that bolt and try to remove that broken bolt. And in an effort to do that, I had drilled a hole right in the center, and I thought this is going to work great. I put in an extractor that was supposed to extract it out, but it was a cheap Harbor Freight extractor. And guess what happened? You know, that piece broke off inside the bolt that was broken off. Thought it was gonna spin out, but instead it just broke. So now I'm still dealing with that. It's been a, a, a pain. Second issue is this battery stuff was kind of corroded and where the battery positive terminal meets this fuse panel was also kind of corroded with those wires. So I took those off, I wanted to clean them up. One came off and cleaned up just fine. The other one I'm trying to take off and clean up. But in my effort to do that, I can see I basically broke the fuse. There's like a jumper fuse between those two cables. I'm hoping I can replace just that part, but I inadvertently broke that while trying to loosen up that bolt. I will say I've been getting a little better at feeling out whether or not bolts are gonna break off. I still actually want to invest in some kind of heat gun or something that will heat them up and actually increase my chances of removing them without breaking them because every broken bolt is going to cause a lot more headaches down the line. But one of the most discouraging things I found is I was able to remove the exhaust and then in the back of the car there was some rust that was very much hidden by the exhaust being in place that I didn't see before and there's some bad rust back there that honestly I'm not sure if it's fixable or not. I'm not sure if it's worth fixing or not. It's really discouraging but I just want to document this stuff as I go. I want to see your opinions, your thoughts. I don't know if any of my viewers have seen rust this bad in the back and fixed. I think everything is probably fixable, but sometimes you reach that point where your time and money might not be worth it. It might really just be a thing of, it'd be easier to find a cleaner roller and try to take the drivetrain out of this one, put it in that one, see if I can recoup some of my money on different areas, uh, selling different parts off of this one. I don't really know for sure. But speaking of that, trying to fund a little bit more of this project, I had some people messaging me about stock parts on my last video or commenting, I should say, about stock parts. There are some stock parts I probably would be willing to sell because this car, you know, despite the fact that it's all in its stock form, is never going to be worth a lot of money in its stock form again, I don't think, because of the high miles and because of the rust. And uh, just to be a car that I want to enjoy, it's probably not going to be stock anyway. But if you're looking for certain hard to find little uh, trinkets, little little small pieces that you usually can't find, send me a message, let me know. Maybe I'll sell it if you want to buy some uh, little things. So that's the status of where I am with this rusty Evo project. But again, I just want to document things as I go, show you guys you know, the struggles that I'm dealing with. Uh, hopefully, I'm probably showing you stuff that other people would never want to really show you because, you know, it <laughs> doesn't look good. Um, I'm still having some fun overall with this, but of course, there's there always reaches that point where certain thing, things just get very discouraging along the way. And you got to find some wins along the way. I'm looking for those yet. I'm really hoping one of them will be getting the engine actually up and running the, the mighty 4G63. And this hopefully has still got some life left in her where she's going to run for a little while. And I just keep in mind I like having a car to tinker with. So right now at least I have something that I can play around with in my garage every now and then without digging unnecessarily into my good Evo. Curious of your thoughts, what would you do? Would you guys give up at this point? Would you say it's too bad? Is it, you know, beyond repair? So that's where we're at with the Rusty Evo project, guys. Let me know, what do you think? Should I give up? Have you seen rust like this repaired? Have you ever dealt with rust like this yourself, especially on an Evo? 
Do you think I should just look for another clean roller, try to swap drivetrain once it's kind of been tested? But as always, it's Paul from Boosted Films, and thanks so much for watching.